Before starting with the dough, prepare the mold that we are going to use. Butter and flour the tart molds and put them in the fridge. To make the dough for this pasta frolla, we are going to use the sablé or sanding technique. We start by placing the dry ingredients in a bowl, the flour, the sugar, baking powder, salt and mix well. Incorporate the cold butter into cubes and with your hands work it to a sand-like texture. With this technique, as the fine sand-like mixture is formed, the butter covers the flour particles and thus makes them waterproof. As the flour's gluten will be enclosed in the particles, there will be no danger that it will hydrate when the liquids are incorporated. The flour will hydrate later on, during the resting time in the refrigerator. In this way, avoiding the formation of gluten, a friable dough is obtained, with absence of body and elasticity, generating a broken dough. Add the lemon zest, whisk the eggs a little bit and add them to the mix. And finally, add the vanilla essence. Gently with our hands, we begin to form the dough bun. This procedure can also be done in a processor. You place all the dry ingredients with the cold butter and process. Then you add the liquids and the flavors, vanilla essence and the lemon zest. In this way, you can form the dough with the processor without getting dirty hands. Put the dough on the counter and we compress the dough to form. We press it with the lower part of the palm of our hand against the counter facilitating the integration process and finishing forming the dough without kneading it. This process should be done once or twice if needed. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel to continue learning pastry and watching new recipes. Don't forget to turn on all notifications so you don't miss when I upload a new video. We split the dough in two portions. Wrap with film and put it in the fridge for 1 to 2 hours. Meanwhile, we work with the Queen's Confit Paste. Queen's Paste is a jam where the Queen's is cooked with sugar over low heat. Then, the cooked pieces of Queen's are processed to form a sweet paste. In Argentina, large bars of Queen's Paste are made and then sold in smaller portions. We work the sweet by stepping on it with a fork and we pour a little hot water to help soften and tenderize the queen's paste. The amount to use in the tart depends on you. It can be between 400 and 700 grams of queens, although there are people who put more or less. In my case, I like it to be at least one centimeter thick. Once we finish, we reserve it for later. We take out the dough that we had in the refrigerator and roll it out on the counter, sprinkling with a little flour so that it doesn't stick. Roll it out a little more than a half centimeter thick. Grab the dough, rolling it on the rolling pin, lift it, and put it on the top of the mold. We lift the edges of the dough to adjust them against the edge of the mold without pressing hard. This way, the edges can be the same thickness as the bottom. We cut the excess dough with a rolling pin or knife.
Now we fill the pan with a tenderized quince paste. Have you ever tried Argentine pasta frolas? What do you think of them? Please share your experience in the comment section below. Roll out the rest of the dough to cut 1 cm wide strips to make the typical grating of pasta frolla. We place the strips parallel to each other, leaving approximately twice the width of the strips between them. Then we arrange the following strips so that the holes form rhombus shapes. You can also make individual mini tarts. Stretching the dough a little thinner and cutting the dough ribbons a little thinner too, to make them more delicate. These are very nice to sell. To make the dough brown when cooking, we make a browning with one egg, a splash of milk and a pinch of salt. Mix well and use it to paint the edges and strips of the tart. We take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for 35 to 45 minutes. The time can vary from oven to oven. When the dough is ready, it will be raised by the baking powder and will be very well browned. When they come out of the oven, let them cool completely and then unmold. The dough can break if you try to unmold it while still hot. And here are the famous Argentine pasta frolla tarts. Super tender on the inside, combined with a dough that breaks in your mouth. An ideal sweet tart to eat in the afternoon with tea or coffee. If you have little excess of dough, you can make some pepas, some Argentine cookies that use the same dough with a little of the queen sweet on the top. I hope you like it and try it at home. If you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to continue learning pastry and watching new recipes. Don't forget to turn on all notifications so you don't miss when I upload a new video. Follow me on my social media on Instagram and Facebook to keep in touch. See you in the next video. Bye bye.